We're going to document a uh, installation of a nav or wingtip lens. We've already got this cleaned off. It's had all kinds of gunk on it. What had happened was the tape that's on this thing is supposed to be spongy. It is, or it was, until the paint shop painted over it, which uh, turned it into a rock on top and very gooey on the bottom. So it took quite a bit of cleaning to get it off. So anyway, that's all done. And we've got the nav lens rough cut. Wing tip lens. And as you can see, if I push it up on there tight, it overhangs top and bottom and around. And that's kind of the way we want it. So uh, we'll trim that down by using this uh, little belt sander here. Works about the best for it. And um, then the uh, shield that goes on here. Again, this thing was pretty miserably put together. And um, this thing was over the top of everything with the wingtip lens laying on top of it. So we're going to have to size up these holes here a little bit so that we can uh, get down around the uh, nut plates there, and uh, or the rib nuts, and uh, they're all matched up. So we'll get processing and get going here. And we've got uh, Clecos, an X-Acto knife, a razor blade, a Swiss Army knife, and uh, a hammer. We have a unibit. This comes in very handy. And it's virtually impossible to install these things correctly without using one of these. And it's very important that it's the type with only one flute down the side, not double. The doubles will walk on you. And then this is the tape that we use underneath of it. It's a 3M product, 16th thick, and um, sticky one side. And then some electrical tape here. We're going to have to use, trick this thing into working right. We'll put it over the top of this surface so that it turns black. And uh, so, that's what we do. What we're going to do is put the uh, tape on this thing. Feel the rubber back. Okay, I'm going to uh, go. Let's see. I'm going to go from this direction around. And to the bottom. I'm not going to stretch this at all. So I'll get right around the edge. Pull it down a little bit. Turn it off so I got a little excess. Excess, let's see. Now, pull this, stretch it right there, so it pulls tight around that edge, then I'm going to let it relax. And you run it right on down. And the rib nuts down to the bottom. Take the exacto knife. Do that and pull that guy off. Now, this one, same basic thing, except I'm going to square off the end of this.
put the thing right up to the little tape there. And again, just kind of let this lay as it comes over. Pull it back underneath. More than I need. And clip it. And that does tape. Put that right up there. Now, we stretch this around the leading edge and let it relax. There. And cut that down through there. And again, let's trim it off. Okay, now we want to stick this down good. Now we've got these bumps up here. Probably can't see it on the camera, but those uh, rib nuts are humped up underneath of that. So what we do then is we take a uh, cutter, just up so you can see it. These things come in a kit, several different sizes, and uh, it um, get the old ones out of there from doing the other side. Okay, now. What we're going to do is to get on each one of these and kind of center that thing around it and then turn, twist it back and forth. And it will cut a nice little round hole in that sucker, exposing the rib nut and this thing goes down around it. <clears throat> go around and do all of these. You do it out. <clears throat> now, see if I can zoom in on that a bit. Yeah, I'm going to focus real good. I'm going to stop it and get a close-up. Okay, so what we've got here now 
is that tape. I ran the first from here around all the way back into the corner and then this one around here stretching it tight over the leading edge of that and that that allows the lens to seat better on it and then we've got these holes we all cut out now we'll proceed to uh, take this guy set it on top get it lined up make sure we're in good shape and we're going to enlarge these holes so the thing fits better on there over the rivet nuts and then we'll put tape around this thing and we're also going to punch a punch a hole there in the back end of that to uh, pick up the um, little PK screw we put in the corner. And this is the hardware here that we've got to put this thing on with. Okay, so now Okay, I'm going to use this to, to size these holes up a bit. I'm going to use the butt end of it to do burr them. Okay, needs a little more. There we go. Now, put it on there. Nicer, seems to be over a bit. I actually walk this one out just a little bit to the outside. It's a nice thing about the end of it, you can walk a hole over just a little bit. Yeah, much nicer. Okay, now we'll put a couple of clinkers in that. And I'm going to change back the number 40 drill bit. Drill this hole up here at the top. Okay, that's just right on, so be good there. Now Back up, a little bit back in. I'm ready for it when we get ready to that point. Now, <clears throat> this point I'm going to take one of these little PK screws. Put it in this hole, keep this thing in position. And we'll fit the lens. Yeah. 
Okay. So. Take those back out. Again, you see how close we come to fit up here. This, uh, we got quite a ways to go. This thing's going to be trimmed out considerably along here. And that's the back. So, I'm going to mark this and get a front. Now we're going to use this thing. Here, be real careful you don't slip when you're doing this, or you wipe out a lens real easy. It's kind of disappointing to have to. We'll make another one. Especially if you don't have it. Okay, we'll see how close we came. First cut. No, not too bad. Get more to go. Come back. Cut some down here off of this end. here. Thing 
off with. Now, yeah, see how we're looking. Get up here at this end. things you sand and fit, sand and fit, sand and fit. Okay, we're getting there, around the corners just a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is sight through these holes, in the rib nuts, and put the smallest tip of this bit through it and pop a cleco in.
Okay. Holes are all piloted now. Put this one back in. This one just a tad. Okay, we're good there. Now, what we'll do is size these holes up to the unit bit. Two about five sixteenths. Mark on this thing at five sixteenths. We'll stop here where the black line is. Okay, so we go into each one kind of carefully support that. We don't push very hard on it. And that gives us the whole we want. Some of these nav lenses are real thin in some areas, thick in others. So this is this one is particularly thin right up here on the top. So I'm going to go very easy with it, support it. Okay. Now I'll take the. knife and just kind of ream around the holes. Can't really get in there to, to uh, deburr those. 
very well. Two objectives to this. One, try to get the part done. Two, try not to lacerate your hand. Ask me how I know. Now, we screw out here, tape on this unit. <coughs> Just a little bit here. Back to the eye. Cut across there. And across here. And then Use the exacto knife. Cut our little holes out of here. And do the one up here at the tip.
clean the last of the little debris off of here, blow it a little bit with some air. Run off. Good. Voila. Voila. Or however you say that. Okay. So there we have one installed nav lens or nav light lens, wingtip lens, however you want to call it. I said this thing had some pretty boogered up wingtips and stuff so trying to get things to fit flush and neat like I like to see them just didn't really happen all that good here but you get the idea of how it's done. When I send out kits for these you get the lens rough trimmed you're going to have to trim them down because I had to make an extra set for these because this tip or these tips both of them were recessed back further and I just didn't I had didn't have any edge margin and then you see up here it's got how the fiberglass is misformed in there there's nothing I can do about that you know if I'd have done if I was painting this airplane before I painted it 
I would have dressed all these things out and made them right and then fitted the lens before the thing was ever painted so they'd be ready to go on. But that's not the case. At least it looks presentable. We're a little bit shy right up here. Anyway, as I said, you get the nav lenses, rough cut. You get 16 each. Uh, trim washers and 832 countersunk screws. You get four, two for each side of the little number four PK screws that go in there and you get a sufficient amount of this black 3M tape to uh, do what I just did here around there. Normally I like to seat these down underneath and put the rubber tape over all of it but this, the way these things were made I didn't want to abuse them any more than I had to and uh, the other side I had to actually take out these two rib nuts up here fill the holes with fiberglass and then re-drill them they were coming in at an angle so the other side was a little more messed up than this one anyway that's wingtip lenses GPA style YouTube type 101 Yep, this airplane's been a project.